Glencoe, guys. Stani. Glenative guys, this is my kind of country, beautiful place, we've got wood, mountains, water on tap, fire and a full, pretty much a full setup. So this is the kitchen area, going to put some jacket potatoes on there, just prepared the fire. We've got the sleeping area, rooftop tent all set up and then we got the lounging drinks area have a beer tonight we've got the cooker in there as well if we get a bit husky we can dive in there whack the cooker on I'll definitely come back here this is stunning absolutely stunning I went over into the woodland earlier over there got some wood so I'll get a bit more tomorrow because we're going to stay here a couple of days so there's some lovely walks around here. We're gonna make this our base and go for a nice walk tomorrow. And this is our water supply. Wash up tomorrow, wash our clothes, boil some water, so water on tap. Oh, look at that fire, guys. I wanna whack them jackets on the fire, the coals are developing now. What a day, beautiful sunshine. It's only 19 degrees, but it feels like about 30. Beautiful place, gonna really miss it here. Lovely, isn't it, yeah. Angie? Yep. That's a salmon I let go. Well, I kind of lost the salmon and uh, nice trout. So that's our little cubicle. If you've followed me for a long time, you've seen this before. With a nice little wash up in there. Bowl of hot water out of the stream and heated another. My bush pot put that in. And we dive in there and have a, have a nice wash down.
we're just out on a, our last night walk. We're going to leave tomorrow and uh, head down to Loch Lomond. It's a possible stay there. If we can't stay at Loch Lomond, then we'll go on to the Lake District. I just wanted to show you this lovely dwelling that we found here. A bit of me, this is a gorgeous little place. Tucked away. Never care in the world living there. So we've been walking up here. Uh, every evening for a nighttime walk before bed. So look at that, that's stunning. So all wrapped up now, end of Glen Atif. We're going to be moving on. Shame to leave this place. But to uh, stay in the old memory. Say goodbye, this is Bushwhacker. Say goodbye. Morning guys, real wet one. We landed up in the Lake District uh, next to a reservoir, but it's absolutely bucketing down. Just managed to get the rooftop tent away. It's got a couple more bits to do, and then uh, we're gonna head on out of here. So I packed up this morning, it's cleared up, and we've arrived on a lovely campsite near Kendall. So we're gonna spend two nights here beautiful little campsite and they got one of my uh, favourite things here so 
I'll uh, quickly show you. I might try and uh, have a look around tomorrow and take you guys around and have a look inside. So, uh, I'll show you this. So I've got four lovely yurts with uh, hot tubs, wood burning hot tubs as well. And a couple of little cabins with cook areas. And I'll spin round. And that's us. So, great little place. Like I said, a couple of nights. And finally it's cleared up. It was horrendous this morning. A lovely red sky. Yeah, we was planning to stay at Windermere, but it's not my cup of tea really. Too busy, too too many people. So, kind of pulled out of there a bit, bit quick. The lake's nice though, but just too many people. So we've ended up uh, near Kendall, like I said, about two and a half miles from Kendall, Lake District. So this is more. This is more uh, us really, nice and quiet and peaceful and uh, nice, nice beautiful scenery, so good result. Um, this one's a little bit messy because we've been using it for a training space. So We're all about shoes. Sit down, just get a feel for it. Oh, yeah. Get a good photo It's quite practical in the day to set it up for seating and then in the night yeah. to, to lie down. Quite roomy as well. Easy living there, yeah. no problem. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. With the cooking as, as well, it's a, um, I've been using the top part of the wood burner as well. Oh yeah. This is oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> it's very cozy. I bet they're quite stable in the wind as well, aren't they? Because super. Apparently, the design of the, of the lattice is uh, super. What about condensation? Is there no condensation. Um, I'm not sure. Since since we've been here a few days, oh, and it's been yeah, fine. Uh, because that's quite a dry heat anyway, so it? Yeah. Burn, so it just dries everything out. Yeah. And during the day we open up the the windows yeah. as well just to hear it. The guy who um from, from the Yurt company, he was here the first day I come and uh, because we're talking about bringing one back to Peru and the canvas part packs up quite neat. Yeah. But it's these poles yeah. at the top and he said they steam bend them, so um, I think because of the design you couldn't just use any old pole yeah. and they particularly steam bend them to get that nice get that angle, shape. Yeah. But I think the traditional yurts didn't really have that rounded part. Yeah, um, more, you know, yeah. triangular, are not they? Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Really <laughs> also, I like the uh, that top light. That's awesome. Getting that lighting, or oh. wildflowers. And they're, they're actually from here on, really? on the land. Cool. The the yellow um, marigolds we have very similar in Peru. We call Rosa Caesar, and we use them a lot in bars for for cleansing. It's also antibacterial, antiseptic. Uh. Um, but it's also quite refreshing too, so it was a nice surprise to come here and see them growing everywhere. Yeah. God, it's warm in here, isn't it? <laughs> so, so when did you leave Peru? Oh gosh. Um, well, I left there. It took me about three days. 
by the time to arrive to here than I had the night here before the other girls yeah. all arrived. So, um... Well, you done a solo, did you? Yeah, nice. I head off after here, I go to Australia and then back again. Um, but it's a long journey. I work a lot with natural plant medicines. So they've all come for healing at different times. Yeah. And then the majority of them have been interested about specifically healing for women. And um, wanting to learn also because they've seen I've had a lot of good results working with women, infinity, infertility, menstruation, oh. all kinds of women's stuff. And so they've seen the results, they've experienced it, and they wanted to learn. So we're basically doing a training to teach them oh. how they can then yeah. apply some of the things. It's interesting, isn't it? Cool. Yeah. So this has been perfect because uh, um, it kind of represents like the womb. <laughs> and because we're talking yes. about all this yeah. womb stuff, it's, yeah. it's created This is where a really we come nice from, <laughs> Yeah. And, and that's been kind of the, the whole theme as well, where we've come from and how uh, we, we make a joke most of the life, men want to go back there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whereas women, you know, they, they, have, they have something extraordinary here they don't realize that gives birth. Yeah. And we quite often don't think of that. Oh, that's and, amazing, isn't it? Yeah. That's, you know, that's a gift. Oh, it is. It's men have got their, their gifts, but women have... You know, that is their gift. Isn't it, it is incredible. Oh. And it's, you know, what I experience with a lot of women is, you know, I, I work with a lot of women who have been sexually abused uh. or have um, cancers or tumors and not understanding, wow, this is an incredible organ we have in our body and how important it is to, to heal it and to, to clean it. And uh, so then, you know, the women who do choose to birth can go through as painless as possible. Mm. One of the girls here, um, I did her birthing for her when she had her baby and um, took care of her afterwards as well so then her body could come back to its normal state. Mm. And so a lot of the, the women here basically, they, they wanted to, to learn more of this and I've, I've done a lot of studies and I've worked um, with the Mayans in Guatemala, with the midwives. <laughs> did you, did you smoke tobacco? Or any no, I, I did used to smoke rolling tobacco and then I give it up and went on one of these. So what are they in them? Herbals? No, it's just a pure organic tobacco. Oh, um, right. jungle in the It's serious, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Stay yeah. in it. You know, you can smoke a little bit and put it down. Mm. Like most cigarettes, it will burn out. Mm. So you, you don't always smoke That's the whole thing. That's a money thing, isn't it? Can, yeah. So you're onto the next packet. That's a nice setup. The hot tubs are nice, aren't they? How, how many? How long does it take to warm up to hit the water? Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. How was yeah. it from a full burn? More than three hours. Is it? <laughs> you look well chilled out, you lot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was chilled out. <laughs> Great, nice to meet you. Thanks for the chat. Brilliant. So I left the campsite this morning. I'm heading home. Had a lovely trip. So until the next time guys, enjoy the great outdoors, see you on the next one.